Hey everyone, James here from 9to5 Software. Today we're diving headfirst into the world of color grading. And uh, I know you're probably just as excited as I am to talk about the best video editors out there that can really make your footage pop. You know, getting that color just right can totally transform your video from something ordinary into like... Now, uh, before we just jump in, let me remind you real quick that if you're interested in any of the software we talk about today, and I mean, why wouldn't you be, right? Mm -hmm. You can check out all the links down there in the description. It'll make it super easy for you to find more information and mm -hmm. maybe even snag a free trial or two. All right, so whether you're a seasoned pro or maybe just starting out and looking to add some pizza size to your projects, stay tuned because we're about to break down some top-notch tools that'll help you nail that perfect look. Let's get into it. All right, so diving straight into Adobe Premiere Pro for color grading, I must say, it's definitely one of the top tier choices out there. Um, one of the first things you'll notice when you jump into the color correction workspace is the Lumumatri color panel. Now, this right here is where a lot of the magic happens. Everything is super intuitive. You have your basic correction where you can adjust things like your temperature, tint, exposure, and contrast. But the real game changer, I think, is the creative tab that allows you to really play with the look of your footage. So, um, when you're working on getting that perfect color grade, those Lumetri scopes are incredibly helpful. You get this like real-time feedback on your waveform, your vector scope, and it just makes it so much easier to keep everything balanced. And speaking of balance, there's this color match feature, which kind of blew my mind, honestly. It allows you to apply a color grade from one clip to another, and it uses the power of Adobe Sensei, which is their AI, right? Really, really smart stuff to help match your shots, which is just brilliant for maintaining consistency across your project. Now let's talk about LUTs or lookup tables for a sec. Premiere Pro has a library of these built in, but what I like is how you can import others or even create your own. It gives you this level of customization that is um, really something else. Plus working with LUTs is a breeze. Just a few clicks and you've got a completely different look. You can then fine tune it using the HSL secondary controls to get exactly what you want. Honestly, it feels like your color grading opportunities are pretty much limitless with this software. Um, wrapping this up, I'd say Adobe Premiere Pro isn't just powerful. It's also very user friendly, which is huge. Whether you're a beginner just getting into video editing or a seasoned pro, the tools for color grading are laid out in a way that makes it accessible yet advanced enough to give you professional results. And because it's part of the Adobe suite, you can integrate with other Adobe apps super easily, making your workflow seamless. So yeah. Long story short, fantastic software for color grading, no doubt. So um, the thing that strikes me most about Filmora Pro when it comes to color grading is just, wow, the, the level of control it offers. I mean, you've got this really intuitive interface that doesn't overwhelm you, which is great for both beginners and experienced editors. You see in other software, you know, sometimes you get this complex layout and you're like, where do I even start? Yeah. But here things are laid out pretty logically with all your color correction tools split between the color and the scopes panel. It makes fine tuning your colors much more approachable. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty of color grading in Filmora Pro. What's really sweet is the color wheels and sliders. Uh, they're super responsive. Adjusting the midtones, highlights, and shadows feels very precise. And um, there's this cool feature called dot scopes, right? That includes waveforms, vector scopes, and histograms. It's crucial because Trust me, these tools help ensure that your color grading doesn't just look good on your monitor, but translates well across different screens and lighting conditions. Uh, another thing I appreciate, and you probably will too, is the preset options Filmora Pro has. We've all been there. You know, starting from scratch can be daunting and time consuming, but with a variety of loots and preset looks available, you can just click and apply a pro level color grade. It's kind of like having this nice starting point, um, which you can further tweak to make your own. Also, what's super helpful is that you can save your own color grading settings as presets, making your workflow a lot faster for future projects. But okay, here's the real kicker. The color matching feature, say you've got different shots from different cameras or angles and the colors are all over the place. Filmora Pro's color matching helps you create a consistent look across your entire video with just a few clicks. Really, it's a lifesaver, plus the ability to keyframe color adjustments over time. Um, that means you can dynamically change colors in a clip, which is fantastic for creating moods or signaling transitions in your storyline. So yeah, as far as color grading goes, Filmora Pro is definitely up there um, with some of the best tools I've used. 
Now, I've been playing around with Luminar Neo for a bit, and I've got to say right off the bat, the user interface, really sleek. It's intuitive, which I like because, let's be honest, nobody wants to spend hours figuring out where everything is. Now, when you're looking at color grading, you want precision, right? Luminar Neo delivers here with its advanced color controls. I mean, the color editor tool is robust. It lets you tweak pretty much every aspect of the color in your images with a level of control that's um, pretty impressive. Plus, they've got this um, eye structure tool that smartly enhances details without making your image look, you know, overcooked. But here's the cool part. It's not just the manual controls that are solid. The AI assistance is mm -hmm. pretty on point, too. It can recognize different objects and scenes, which comes in super handy for applying quick adjustments that honestly sometimes look like they were done by a pro. Like, it saves time without compromising the quality, which is major. If you're someone who's working on a ton of projects and you're, you know, tight for time. And for all my fellow video editors out there wondering about performance, well, in, in my experience, Luminar Neo has been pretty smooth. It doesn't choke when handling high res files, which if you've ever had your software crash on you mid-edit, you know that's a big plus. So yeah, for color grading, this beast definitely holds its own uh, against the competition. Anyway, that's my take on it. Give it a whirl and let me know how it works out for you. Okay, so um, let's talk about DaVinci Resolve, right? This is one of those pieces of software where you dive in and you can feel a bit overwhelmed at first because, you know, it's, it's packed with features. But once you get the hang of it, it's like incredibly powerful for color grading. The color grading tools are, I mean, they are top notch. You've got this advanced panel called the color page and here you can work with color wheels, curves, and primary controls. And it's really intuitive once you get the flow of it. Now, one thing I really love is the node-based workflow. Um, it might seem a bit complex if you're coming from uh, simpler editors, but each node basically represents a different color correction or effect, and you can stack them, connect them in different ways. It's like having this amazing control over the look of your video. And because each node is separate, if you mess something up, you don't have to redo the whole thing. Just tweak that one node and you're good to go. The thing that really sets DaVinci Resolve apart for color grading is the sheer precision you have. You can um, key out specific colors, isolate areas with power windows, track those areas over time. I mean, it gives you the kind of control that's usually reserved for, you know, high-end film production. And the best part, DaVinci Resolve has a free version. It's mind-blowing because you're getting like Hollywood uh, level color correction tools without spending a dime. Of course, there's the studio version too with even more features, but for many, the free version is like more than enough. Um, just a heads up though, you'll need a decent machine to run it smoothly because it's quite resource intensive. But assuming you've got the hardware, there's no doubt that DaVinci Resolve is a beast for color grading. It's professional, the results are stunning, and once you learn it, you'll see why so many filmmakers and YouTubers swear by it. Really, if color grading is your thing, DaVinci should be at the top of your list. Now, if you're into video editing, you probably know how important color grading is, right? It's that step that can really bring your footage to life, give it that cinematic look or even correct some, you know, less than ideal lighting conditions you might have shot in. Now, Final Cut Pro, well, it offers a pretty robust set of color grading tools. There's the color board, which is uh, pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it. You can adjust your shadows, midtones, and highlights separately, which is uh, really handy. Plus, there are these color wheels. And I got to say, these are perfect for making more precise adjustments. But what I really love is the ability to use keyframes. It means you can change the color settings over time, which is great for um, matching shots taken at different times of the day or, you know, creating that cool effect where the color changes within a single shot. Final Cut also has these awesome color presets called lookup tables or LUTs. This is a game changer, guys. You can apply a LUT and instantly it changes the mood of your footage. Whether you're going for a vintage feel or a, um, like a modern punchy, look, there's a LUT for that. And the best part, you can import custom LUT. So the possibilities are quite literally endless. All right, to wrap it up, Final Cut Pro, it might not be the cheapest option out there, but when it comes to color grading, trust me, it's top notch. It's um, user-friendly for beginners once you practice a bit, but also powerful enough for pros. So if you're serious about taking your color grading to the next level, definitely give Final Cut Pro a shot. Cool, that's about it for this one. Catch you in the next video. Uh, so that 
pretty much wraps up our deep dive into the best video editor for color grading. And um, I've got to say, it's impressive to see just how much control and precision these tools offer, right? Now, if any of these caught your uh, eye and you're thinking about giving them a spin, uh, check out the links I've dropped in the description below. They'll take you right to where you need to go. And hey, if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful in any way, I would really, really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It helps out a bunch and uh, you'll get to stay up to date with all the latest software reviews and tutorials that I've got coming up, which you definitely we won't want to miss. Oh, and if you've got any questions or if there's something specific you want to discuss, just drop me a comment down below. I love reading your thoughts and I do my best to get back to as many of you as possible. Don't forget, there's a whole world of videos on the channel. So click around, see what else you might be interested in. I've covered a lot of ground and there's something for everyone. All right, I think that's all from me for now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Keep creating and stay awesome. Peace out.